Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, um, yesterday we got the Dev Channel build for this week, and now on the 23rd of March, Microsoft has rolled out the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview builds for the Beta Channel. Builds 2261.1470 and 2264.1470. And um, as many of you would know by now, in the Beta Channel, build 2264 has the new features rolling out by default. So what's new this week in build 22624? Now there's quite an overlap this week um, between the dev and the beta channel. So a lot of the features we're going to look at today, um, I did mention in the video I did post on yesterday with the dev channel. But nonetheless, um, just to keep you up to speed um, regarding the beta channel, um, if we just head over to the first, um, there's now USB 4. Um, in the settings. So you get a USB 4 settings page where um, Microsoft have said they have now added a USB 4 hubs and devices settings page under the settings Bluetooth and devices, USB, USB 4 hubs and devices. And um, just a quick recap regarding USB 4. Um, it enables new productivity scenarios for docking high performance peripherals, displays and charging. And the USB 4 settings page provides information about the system's USB 4 capabilities and attached peripherals on a USB 4 capable system. And uh, um, basically this feature, um, this USB 4 settings page, um, um, basically gives you a couple of features. So the first is that you can view the tree of connected USB 4 hubs and devices, as we can see from the screenshot provided. Um, you can view attributes and capabilities associated with the USB 4 domain. And uh, um, that's down here below. And you can copy the details into the clipboard so it can be shared with customer support or system administrators for troubleshooting. So that's just a couple of the um, new features and three highlights for the um, USB 4 settings page now being tested in those beta channel builds. And uh, as mentioned previously, if you don't have... Um, access to USB 4. So your device does not support USB 4. You will not see this uh, USB 4 settings page in your settings. So just take note of that. Moving on to the next. Um, this one I think we have covered before because this is a change and improvement and not actually a new feature per se, which is also in build 22624, where um, you will now see a copy button Yeah, in the bottom left uh, for quickly copying two-factor authentication codes uh, in notification toasts from apps installed on the PC or from phones linked to the PC. So that's um, regarding um, two-factor authentication now in the beta channel. Moving on to the next, just another change in improvement. Um, seems that this will be rolling out um, to a stable version shortly because Microsoft is featuring this basically in every insider um, channel for this week and over the last week or so where we have the glanceable VPN status um, in the system tray, and that's um, when um, your device is connected to a recognized VPN profile. And then I think another big one, as mentioned yesterday with the dev channel, is that the um, seconds uh, in the system tray clock has now made its way uh, to the beta channel. So um, that's one step closer basically to a public release. So there's a good chance Microsoft may be rolling this out. And this um, is regarding user feedback. Apparently this um, showing seconds in the system tray clock is a high, highly requested feature and uh, um, that's obviously for the system tray clock where you can toggle this on to get seconds. But just take note here in the brackets it says uses more power. So if you are on a low end or budget machine um, just take note that popping this on and turning the setting on and may to some extent reduce your system performance give or take depending on the device and the hardware that you are using. So just another thing to take note of. And then um, one or two changes and improvements from both bolts, 2261 and 2264, and we're back to the search box. So if we just zoom in here, uh, the search box for the taskbar uh, will be lighter when Windows is set to a custom color mode, and that's specifically when the Windows 11 mode is set to dark and the app mode is set to light, you will see a lighter search box on the taskbar, which as I've mentioned previously, I think that will just give you a couple a, a couple of more options when it comes to the taskbar search, which I think users do appreciate when Microsoft does give them options to customize the search box or the search in the taskbar. So 
as I always say, I think that will be a nice move in the right direction. And over and above that, um, for this week for the beta channel builds, that's more or less um, what's new and changed and improved. And then over and above that, we get the different fixes, um, which for this week have rolled out for live captions, search on the taskbar. And then there's a couple of known issues for the system tray, live captions, and so on. And I'll leave the release notes down below if you would like some more information um, regarding the rollout of the beta channel builds for this week, build 2261 and 2264. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.